Mm -hmm. Okay, so we caught a white-breasted nuthatch, and it, I have this little cheat sheet on the back there that says white-breasted nuthatch is band size 1B or 1. Of course, it's, you have to get the right band size on. You don't want a band that's too small, it'll pinch the leg, but you don't want a band that's too large because it'll fall off as well. And so I can use this, and I'm going to use this to measure to see if this bird needs a 1B or a 1. It also tells me that white-breasted nuthatches, I can find out more information on page 352. This is the pile guide and it's the Bird Banders Bible. Um, and it has all the birds in North America and it helps me figure out how to sex and age them. And so if they're male or female, and then if they were born uh, this year or in a previous year. So now it's um, it's March. <laughs> it's still March. It's March and so the birds, obviously no birds were born this year yet, but I should be able to look at it and see if the bird was born last year or born some year previous to that. Okay, so we'll take our first bird out of the bag. Of course you have to be a little bit careful when you do that because you don't want to let the bird go. So I grab it with that hand and I pull it out with my other hand. Um, you can see I hurt, hold the bird in my left hand because I'm right handed so that gives me my right hand to write with and to take all the measurements and so let's see band size 1B or 1. 1 looks a little bit tight when I put it on there it's touching both sides of the leg when I put 1B on there, it's not touching both sides of the legs at, and it won't fall off the um, foot. So we're going to use band size 1B. So I have to get the right sheet out. There we go, 1B. Get the right band out. So we have different size bands. This is kind of a medium size band. It has a unique number on it. So that way, if anybody anywhere uh, gets this bird and reads the band, they'll be able to report it. So every year, I have to report to the federal government what bands I have and what, uh, what I banded. And so I have this special pliers, like maybe you saw me, it has um, this end, helps me open the band. And so I only open it enough so that it fits on the bird's leg. And then it has holes, and so these holes are specific to certain size bands. And so this one is um, for size 0 bands, and that's for size 1. And this is a 1B, so it fits in that size 1 band. And then I can put it on the leg, and when I tighten it, I can't over-tighten it. It will only tighten, you know, that big, so I can't crimp it onto the bird's leg. And so I make sure that band is nice and tight on there. I want to make sure that the two edges come together perfectly. And so that way it won't get nesting material caught in there um, and it won't be too big to slip off. So there we go. We got the band on the bird and I'm going to double check the band number. Last three digits are 918 and that matches up nicely with my banding sheet. So we're good there. So I write down the species, right, white-breasted nuthatch. Um, today's date is the 16th of March. So 0316 time is 210. So I do that military time. We are at Johnny Appleseed. Okay. Now we need to Two things are required by the federal government. I, they need to know, well, the species, the age, and the sex. And so these birds, you know, some birds you can tell males and females by looking at them, and some you can't. This is actually one that you can tell males and females by looking at them. And so the difference between males and females is their crown, or the top of the head here. And it is completely black, so I know that it is a male. And so I'm going to write down male, and I know that by plumage. Okay, uh, now I have to read to see how I can age these birds. Looks like I'm looking at the primary coverts. I'm looking at the color and shape of the primary coverts. Okay. 
The primary coverts are these feathers right here. So these long feathers here are the primaries. These are the secondaries. The primaries provide uh, thrust or forward motion. The secondaries here provide lift. Um, and so looking at these primary coverts, there's a lot of edging right in here. You can see a lot of edging and they're pretty rounded. And so I think this bird was not born last year, that this bird is at least two years old. So I'm going to write down that it's at least two years old. Now I'm going to blow on it and these measurements are, uh, the first two measurements are breeding condition. It's March, they shouldn't be breeding, but we just double check. And it is not breeding. Um, but the next thing I'm going to, um, I don't know how much you can zoom in on, but I'm going to blow right here and you're going to look in here and you should see white for the fat and then the red breast muscle. And so hopefully you saw a little bit of fat in there. Um, and so it was about half full, so he has actually been eating quite well here, um, getting lots of fat. Now birds feathers wear out, and so they replace their feathers, but I don't see this bird replacing any body feathers or replacing any flight feathers at this time. If it was replacing flight feathers, we would see one of these feathers a little bit shorter than the others. And then the last thing I record is flight feather wear. And these look fairly good. There's like a slight wear on that one. It's kind of hard to see. Um, so those are kind of the scoring measurements I do. And then I measure the wing cord. This is 92 millimeters. The tail, 47 millimeters. Tarsus length. So the tarsus is a measure of structural size. So just like when you go to the doctor's office and they measure your height as a measure of structural size, tarsus is a measure of structural size of birds. And it's just the, the leg bone here. And we got 19.1. And the last thing I need, I look at my data sheet, the only thing I need yet is the weight. And this is the most fun part. I'm going to put it upside down in this little cup and tell it to stay. And they usually do 22.3 grams. Okay, data sheets filled out, so it's time to let it go. And I think I'm going to close the door just so it doesn't fly back in. And we're going to point it this way so it doesn't fly back into the net. There it goes. And so yeah, now if anybody ever catches that bird again, they'll know that we banded it today.